Hello, my name is Alastair McKinnon and I'm the Director of Global Sales for Pulsar Measurement. Today I want to tell you all about the Sand Alert non-invasive acoustic sensor. We're going to use uh, live demonstrations, uh, pictures to show applications and also where to apply the equipment. The challenge for operators in the oil and gas market today is to remain competitive. The Sand Alert sensor and controller gives that option to those operators. It's non-invasive and can listen to the impacts of solids coming up the main pipeline. Sand and solid particles can cause many problems within oil and gas production. One of them is you can have very few sand particles, but if they're traveling at very high velocities, they can create uh, erosion within control valves, as you can see on the images. The other problem is accumulation. And uh, if you've got vast amounts of sand, but they're not traveling very fast, they will accumulate over time in separators and other vessels, causing uh, shutdowns that aren't planned. Also, the contamination of the sand particles with oil means that the operator has to clean that process and then obviously landfill as well. There are different types of techniques to monitor sand, uh, invasive and non-invasive. I'm going to talk about the benefits of using non-invasive over the invasive techniques. So to use non-invasive, you've got the, the benefit of not contacting the process. So it's not sacrificial. Um, so you, go, you have electrical resistance probes that can be installed in the pipe. You have downtime to install those and they don't give you real time data. With the non-invasive sand alert uh, detection system, that will give you real time and alarms. And also it's independent of a flow regime, which we'll show you a little bit later on. The sand alert can be deployed in many types of uh, areas within the oil and gas process, um, upstream and downstream, also in the fracking process, um, which is around the world a big process to uh, produce gas uh, to the market. Um, one of the largest areas that we deploy the sand alert is into well testing as well. Uh, we do that with well testing companies um, and it's, we use a portable system for that, um, which again lends itself very well to, uh, to, to monitor a well when it's being brought on and to monitor the sand production and for hopefully that sand production to decay once the well has been brought on. So we've talked about where the sand alert is deployed. Now let's talk about the options for mounting. Um, we have a number of options. Uh, we have the, uh, the wall mount version here. Uh, we have, as you'll see on images, uh, a portable system. We've also got uh, an ability to put the wall mounted system in an EXD enclosure, which again, you'll see on the images. We can manufacture bespoke systems uh, for a customer. And uh, we have one going through the uh, shop floor at the moment. And this is a 13 point system. And these are rack mount uh, systems, um, each one individually set up by an infrared calibrator. So let's look at the technology behind the sand alert. We use effectively two filters to make us independent of a flow regime and just to listen to the sand impacts. The first filter is the sensor itself. That works at a frequency um, that's just listening to impacts, but it also will listen to flow as you can see from the animation. Um, we also then have the second filter and that second filter is an automatic threshold. So it will sit below the slow hiss, let's say, of the flow, uh, but listen to the impingements, uh, short duration, high amplitude impingements of the solids. So we've seen the animation, we've described how the technology works. Let's have a live demo. And we're gonna use a wall mount and we're gonna use a sensor and we're going to see the impacts of the sand coming through on the main screen. Okay, now we've got the live demo in front of us. 
uh, which consists of the wall mount sand alert controller, the sensor, and uh, we've got a chute here where we're deploying the sand through the chute and uh, detecting the impacts within the sensor. I'd like to now introduce you to Simon Purcell, who is our product manager, and he'll take you through this demo. Hi, I'm Simon Purcell. I'm the product manager for the Sand Alert range of products. I've worked with the Sand Alert for many years now. Here we have a demonstration. It's a very simple demonstration. We have a chute here. We have the sensor attached to the chute via a heat shunt, which will allow you to mount the sensor on pipes up to 200 degrees C. We have the controller here, which is calculating the sand impacts and will also calculate mass and calculate the total mass over a period of time. Here we have a reasonably large graphical display which allows you to see what's actually happening with regards to sand impacts. It, if I was to move the screen it would also show you uh, mass, totalizer, sand impact rate. But here we can see um, very small impacts at the moment because we're using a very light grain of sand. Uh, but you can also see on there the automatic threshold that removes any noise and only picks up the high impact sand impact rate. Just like to show you here our optional extra, which is PC Suite, which is compatible with any PC program. What it allows you to do is view the raw data, as you can see here in a larger screen. It also allows you to set up and change parameters within the unit and download data and create graphs for producing reports. In the right hand corner, you can also see the impact rate and the mass rate, depending upon what you've set it to. Here it's reading about 1.3 grams per second. We've been supplying the sand alert for many years and you'll see that we have many customers that have used the product and uh, have deployed it in many applications. If you want more information on the Sand Alert product or any of our other instrumentation that we supply, please visit our website, www.pulsarmeasurement.com. Thank you for watching.